my name is Beth Chancellor, and I've been asked to share my family's story um, and how we could have benefited with Yellow Dot um, approximately two years ago. At that time, we were an average family. My husband and I had met as teenagers, but we didn't begin dating until years later. We had two sons who were seven and 14 months at that time. We lived modestly and loved our simple little life together. He worked hard in construction, and I was a social worker for our local DHR. Our older son played youth league sports, and we couldn't wait for our younger son to get old enough to do so. We weren't obsessed with safety, but took precautions, especially when it came to our kids. Overall, I considered us a fairly safe family, but we weren't preoccupied with preparing for emergencies. Not too long after our younger son was born, my mom suggested that I program her along with other immediate family members in my cell phone as ICE. I didn't know what that meant, but she explained that was for in case of emergency. Both my husband and I had done that. We felt like that was being proactively safe. A little silly and unnecessary, I thought at the time, but safe. Also, we hadn't been out socially since learning I was pregnant with our younger son in April 2011. However, on February 2nd, 2013, we decided to go have dinner with friends. And they have a little girl, and so we wanted to let our kids play together. And so we did that. I'm told we had a very good time that evening and stayed later than intended um, because the kids were having so much fun. But I don't have any memory of that evening because on our way home, which was only about a 20 minute drive from our friend's house, we were hit head on by a drunk driver. My husband, Mike, was killed instantly. I was unconscious, critically injured, and wasn't expected to survive the transport to the hospital. Our older son, Peyton, was barely conscious and also critically injured. Lawson, who was our younger son, was only 14 months at the time, and he was unable to communicate. He was found screaming, his car seat the only thing saving him from major injury. My cell phone battery had went out earlier that evening, and my husband had forgotten his cell phone at home, so our in-case-of-emergency contacts weren't available to responders. We weren't well-known or high-society, high-profile people and weren't immediately recognizable due to injury. In fact, first on the scene was a guy with whom I graduated high school. He didn't know I was me until much later when he saw my driver's license passed around. Emergency responders, most importantly my children, needed someone to meet them at the hospital to make critical medical decisions. DHR was contacted and sent some of my coworkers to Children's to wait with my little ones because the hospital couldn't treat or admit my children without a responsible party. My director was able to connect emergency responders to my family only because I worked there and she knew I had family in the area. Had I not been an employee of DHR, it could have taken much longer to identify and notify relatives, leaving my children wards of the state and waking up injured and scared in a hospital surrounded by strangers. Yellow Dot is a program that can prevent some similar scenario from happening to you or your children and is simple and easy to register for. Your family's information isn't stored in some distant computer system for anyone to be able to access, but it's only handwritten on a card which you keep in your vehicle. A yellow dot on your rear windshield alerts emergency personnel that you have this information available. In response to my family's tragedy, I definitely tell others not to drink and drive and want to share that message today as well. Please, please, please don't drink and drive or allow others an opportunity to do so.